and how's it going Adobe fam? It's Joshua Lufemi here live from LA, founder of the YouTube channel of the same name. And over the next few tutorials, we're going to be diving into the world of After Effects, where I'm going to show you how to make this crazy dope piece. Guys, this new series of tutorials that you're going to be watching is called Learn from the Pros for Adobe After Effects. Adobe After Effects is a digital effects, motion graphics, compositing software, often used right alongside of Adobe's flagship video editing software, Premiere Pro, to create some incredible works of visual art. It's not as hard as you may think. In this fifth video, I'm going to tell you about exporting and After Effects. Exporting is the final part of the post-production process. It's where you pack an entire finished project into a single video file. All right, guys, we are back in After Effects. We're going to export now. First things first, we have to tell Premiere what part of the timeline panel that we want to actually export. So we're going to actually tell Premiere that we want our work area to end right here. This area in between these two margins, it's called our work area. And so we're going to only export out in between this work area beginning and this work area end. We're then going to go to file and then we're gonna to go to export. And then we're going to go to add to render queue. All right guys, so before we continue this exporting process, I gotta tell you what a codec is. A codec is basically a piece of software that determines the video size and the video quality of the final video file. There are two main types of video codecs, intermediate codecs and final codecs. An intermediate codec like ProRes isn't going to compress your video file that much, so you're going to be left with a video file that has a really high image quality. The downside is that the file size is going to be pretty big. A final codec like H.264 is going to compress your video file significantly more. You're going to be, have less image quality than an intermediate codec, but the upside is the video file size is going to be really small. Generally, the video quality in a final codec like H.264 will be relatively okay as long as you don't do something called recompressing. That means exporting out a final codec video file more than once. But here's the thing, when you do projects in After Effects, you're not usually done with a project. You're usually only doing the VFX in After Effects. You're probably going to put that exported out file back into Premiere Pro and maybe add a little color correction. Maybe you're going to add some background music and then eventually you're going to export it out again out of Premiere. And so you want to make sure that you export out of After Effects with an intermediate codec. We're now going to click on lossless. And it's here that we're going to choose our format, which is going to be QuickTime. We're then going to leave everything the same and we're going to go to format options. And we're going to make sure that the video codec is on ProRes, Apple ProRes 422HQ. Then we're going to do OK. And then we're going to do OK again. And then we're going to go to output two and we're going to go right to the right of that. And this is going to be, we're going to click on this and we're going to, this is going to be where we actually choose where we want to save our footage. All right, what do we want to name this? We're going to name this sequence. Hmm, how about we name it white trucks driving. And then we're going to do save. All right, and then we're going to click render. All right, now we're going to go to Premiere Pro. Now I'm going to open up a new project and I'm going to name this project. How about we name it? white trucks just because it doesn't really matter what we name it let's go to browse store it in my premiere pro folder that i made and we're gonna go click okay okay um now i'm going to click on my project window and i'm going to do import and then i'm going to input white i'm going to import white trucks driving this is the mov 4K ProRes file that we just exported out of After Effects. Now I'm going to create a new sequence. Right click, do new item, new sequence. And I want these. Uh, let's see, we're going to just, just click whatever. It doesn't matter the settings right now. And now I'm going to go, this is how I like to change sequence settings. I like to do it manually. Go back up to seek, make sure you're clicked on this sequence that you created arbitrarily. Then click back up onto sequence. Then click on sequence settings and then from here you can then go to custom and change all these sequence settings individually so i want this time code to be 23.976 um, and then uh 
I'm going to change it to 1920 1080 as far as the frame size. I'm going to change the pixel aspect ratio again to square pixels like we do. And then fill fields to progressive like we always do. And then we're going to do OK. I'm going to then drag this footage into this 1920 1080 timeline to say keep existing settings. It's all zoomed in because this is 4K footage that we're dealing with. So I'm going to go click on the footage and I'm going to go to the motion settings. Go to go to scale and then I'm going to zoom out so that the 4K footage is now seen completely within this 1920 by 1080 footage. To uh, put my in and out point at the very beginning, at the very end of the footage, I'm going to go to sequence, then render in to out. This will allow this footage to play through very smoothly. Now, next thing I want to do is I want to just add a little bit of color. We'll do a little bit of color correction. Let's go over to the color workspace. And then we're going to go to Lumetri color. We're going to first click on the footage that will pop Lumetri color up. We're going to go to basic correction and I'm going to go to my scopes. And I basically want to make sure my blacks are black and my whites are white. So I want my black, my blackest black to reach um, zero if I can in between 10 and zero is good for now. There we go. And then we're going to bring my highlights up even more I Want my highlights to usually be within 90 to 100, but we'll keep it there right now, just above 80. And then I'm going to add a little bit of saturation as well. This is good for now. Our next thing we're going to do, we're going to add some music. So let's right click, do import. Uh, I think I have some music in my desktop coming home. We're going to add this song. It's just, we're just, we're just going to slap this song just for the heck of it. I want to have a start right about here. Bam, bam. Let's see how this sounds. All right, it's fine for now. Let's cut it right here. Let's lower the volume a little bit so it's not peaking. Let's go to volume, uncheck that uh, animation. We don't want to toggle animation, meaning we don't want to activate any keyframes. Let's bring this down to like negative three. All right, let's make sure that we, when we are exporting out of Premiere, we have to make sure that we define the work area. So again, we want to make sure that the work area is defined right when the our footage starts and right when our footage ends make sure that this uh that uh snapping is on snap in timeline make sure that's turned on so that these um work area bookends snap directly to the ends of the footage very easily and then you're gonna go to file and then you're gonna go to again export and then you're gonna go to media and now we're gonna go to format. Now we're going to export a final codec, not an intermediate codec like we did out of X After Effects. So we're gonna export using H.264. Cool. And um, we're going to go to output name and name this. Hmm, what do we wanna name it? How about we name it final project? These names are so arbitrary, by the way. They can be whatever, the name can be whatever you want. We're gonna save that now. And um, we're going to pretty much match the source, which means that Premiere is going to basically match the uh, match the sequence settings that we have to create our export settings. So again, progressive 2.3976 for the frame rate, 9, uh, 1920 by 1080 for the resolution. Everything else is pretty much perfect. And we're going to click export. All right, let's go check out the final piece. Final project. Perfect. Great job, guys. This has been an incredible couple of tutorials I've been able to do with you. This is Josh Olufemi 
please make sure to check out our YouTube channel of the same name, Josh Olufemi and Adobe Fam. Thanks for watching. And as always, remember to keep it chill.